The Iowa Supreme Court rules abortion will remain legal after six weeks of pregnancy. It strikes down Governor Reynolds' appeal of the law, which would have banned abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected. ABC 6 News reporter Theodore Tollefson has reaction from Cresco tonight. The Iowa Supreme Court kept Iowa from becoming the second state in the nation, next to Georgia, from having a six-week abortion ban. It came down to a 3-3 decision. Justice Dana Oxley recused herself as her former law firm represented an abortion clinic that had been a plaintiff in the original case. In a small Iowa town such as Cresco, women here are seeing this as a positive for their state. I think it's wonderful for women. I think it's wonderful for society. Um, women should have the right to choose and it should be no one else's business. And that is what Iowa did today. Governor Kim Reynolds disagrees, saying in a statement, quote, there is no fundamental right to abortion and any law restricting it should be reviewed on a rational basis standard, close quote. The ruling makes Iowa the ninth state in the nation to stop attempts by the state legislators to ban abortion entirely. We are overjoyed and relieved by today's order. We know that many Iowans were depending on the outcome of this case today, and we are celebrating the preservation of our freedom, health, and safety. Republicans say this won't stop them from putting forth pro-life bills. Speaker of the House Pat Grassley writes, quote, going forward, we will work together to pass legislation that will protect life, support new mothers, and promote strong families in Iowa, close quote. The impact of this decision will also impact four neighboring states. Missouri, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wisconsin have bans on abortions after 12 weeks or full bans in effect. It's now creating a safe space for women in the state and in surrounding states where they're not giving women this right anymore. Many doctors say that women do not know they're pregnant at the six-week mark. Reporting in Cresco, Theodore Tollefson, ABC 6 News.